Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Stormers here. All right, we are back in the bazaar. Just got back from the shipwreck site. And now we're going to come back here, talk to Sasani. Let her know what we found. Yes. Do you have results for me? Here's some of the cargo I was able to recover. I congratulate you on your scavenging abilities. These do seem salvageable. If you recover anything else, you may give it to my major domo, Osi. Part of your examination. Did you investigate the ship and the area thoroughly? Yes, here's the evidence you requested. Very thoroughly investigated, I see. Well done. I believe you deserve a reward for your hard work. Oh, nice. We just got 2200 gold. <laughs> Picking up some good experience points, too. I commend you on your work, Traveler. For all intents and purposes, you are my employee, and I shall reward you as such. However, our work is not yet done. Give me a moment to review the evidence on the wreck that you have delivered, and we shall talk shortly. Ah, greetings, friends. Lady Sasani has decided to grace you with the honor of participating in our merchant enterprise. All right, we got an intimidate check. There better be a reward in this for me. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's go for that. Ongoing rewards, in fact, far greater than those gained by acting simply as bodyguards or errand runners. <laughs> Who are you? I am Osi Chuluka, Major Domo of Sasani's great merchant company and master of her trade supplies here in Samurgal. If there are any questions of trade that you have, I'm here to answer them. <laughs> uh, let's see. What does she need done? Ah, uh, well, you see, Lady Sasani runs the most successful merchant organization in the nation of Samurak, and despite the recent setback of the Vigilant, we plan to keep it that way. Your recovery of some of her lost cargo has greatly encouraged her. However, there is more to recover. Much, much more. And let's go with this appraised check here. Let me guess. She wants us to find a buyer for the cargo as well? How astute, friend. Yes, that is precisely what she has requested that you do. She has requested not only that you recover her cargo, but that you find a purchaser for it. The ore in which she was trading is extremely valuable here in Samurai. Okay. Yeah, let's go diplomacy this time. I don't know Samurai that well. How would you recommend that I proceed? I cannot do much to aid you, my friends. Though I thank you for asking my advice. Here is what I can tell you. I propose you use your eyes and your ears. Samurai is an ever-changing environment. We cannot clear the fog for you. You must do that on your own. Hmm. Sasani trust me with the proceeds of the sale? Ha, <laughs> not exactly. Where you are from, are merchants so naive? <laughs> when you sell the ore that you recover, you will be paid in trade bars. These are bars of metal pressed with the sign of the merchant house who minted them. They are representative of the value of the cargo that you are trading. However, they do not carry value themselves. So what can I do with them? Well, were this land a bit more forgiving of outsiders, you could purchase other goods from those towns and sell them at a further profit. However, that is not the case. So for now, you can return any trade bars that you have earned to me, and I shall pay you a dividend in gold. In addition, Sasani has stated to me that due to your significant successes to this point, she sees your continued survival as valuable. So should you have the necessary skill and recipes to craft weapons or armor from her ore, you may do so. Where do you suggest I look for more of Sasani's cargo? The cargo that you have found was in the possession of Batiri, was it not? I would recommend looking for goods in other local tribes. Even wandering bands of the little monsters may carry some. They loot each other as often as they do to us. Where can I find crafting recipes? I have a few which I would be willing to part with for a small price. You may find merchants in other towns willing to sell more. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Certainly. Alright, what the... Okay, yeah, he's got a lot of recipes. Oh, they're pretty cheap, too. Well, we have over 3,000. Armor class bonus enchantments, let's do that. Corrosive weapons, flaming, frost, shocking, thundering, and plus one weapon enhancements. Yeah, let's get them all. 
All right, let's see. Does he say anything else? Greetings again, friends. What may I do for you? Uh, no, he's got nothing else to say. What about Sasani? This evidence you have collected. It doesn't give me a complete picture. But what I have is clear enough. The Vigilant was sabotaged. But whether or not the saboteur still lives is something that remains uncertain. Among the passengers, there are several individuals unaccounted for, one of which is the captain, Lastri Kassire. While it is doubtful she would sabotage her own vessel, she remains a suspect, and what she may know could be of use to me. Bolo has told me that the captain was unconscious when the ship crashed, and that she, the first mate, and a number of others were dragged off before the fight began. The Batiri likely have kept her somewhere somewhat close to the shipwreck, so investigation in that area is wisest. Hmm. All right, we have a survival option here. After this long, her odds are slim. But maybe if they moved her further from the beach, she has a chance of living. We shall hope for that chance, then. Any leads there are to be discovered, we must pursue. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Do you have any other tasks for me? Not as yet. However, Master Aussie has the cargo that you collected earlier. If you should like to assist him in distributing it, I imagine he would be thankful for the aid. Yeah, we were just talking to him. Aside from that, Master Volo might welcome your assistance with a number of tasks. And that tiefling troll of Vadinia might have some work you can do for coin, <laughs> if you don't mind acquiring her petty rewards. Aside from that, merely the task at hand, which I remind you is essential. Is there anything else? Can you tell me anything about the area? That is Master Volo's job, or so he says. He claims to be writing a book and doing research, and bemoans the fact that he cannot leave the city. The fool does not realize how close he has come to death, but it is no matter. If you seek to assist him, I would suspect he'd welcome it. Other than that, I cannot help you. Hmm. Is there anything else? Uh, I have questions about someone. I am not a directory or scrying device, but I shall tell you what I know. All right, let me ask what you something else. Know? All right, I think we're done here. All right, so it sounds like Volo might have some quests, too. Hello again, travelers. What can I do for you? Sasani mentioned you wanted to speak to me. Yes, of course. I have a number of things I'd like to discuss with you. I wish to write a book on the mysterious land of Samarak, but unfortunately, due to my injuries from the shipwreck, I cannot venture out of Samagal's gates. Hmm. Let's see what Umoja has to say here. I see. An excellent idea and a fitting tribute to the land. If only the authorities would see it the same way, how may we help? So that my book would be of the highest quality, there are a few tasks I was hoping I could beg of you. Nothing substantial, mind you, but something that would make my work all the more vivid. Would you help? Um, we got a diplomacy option here. Of course, I imagine you wouldn't dream of suggesting we help with the research without saying, give us a co-author credit. <laughs> co-author? Are you... how could I... <laughs> really? I suppose perhaps I could fit your names in there somewhere if you helped me out, yes. But only if you assisted me. Yeah, we'll help Mostly, you. I'd just like to get your observations on a few areas. The lay of the land, you see, but occasionally I might have a particular task in mind for you, if you're up for it. Should you wish to acquire any tasks to aid me, just stop by. As I learn more of this place, I shall assuredly wish to investigate more of its wonders. Okay. You got anything else Hello to say? Hello again, travelers. What can I do for you? You have any work? I've heard that here in the south there are things called pear rots. Talking birds that repeat what you say. Is that not wondrous? I should dearly like such a creature for a pet. What a companion it would be. <laughs> However, due to a <laughs> misunderstanding betwixt myself and a merchant selling what he claimed was powdered beer of Elminster, I'm <laughs> not allowed to venture out into the market stalls anymore. If you should be so kind, as to pick up a talking bird for me, I should be most grateful. <laughs> okay. Talking bird in the markets, huh? All right, let's go talk to some of these guys over here then, I guess. And we need to rest up, and we need to sell a couple things too, I think. Stay we close. A, yeah, we have a few things we can step probably sell. Step. Uh, let's go turn in some of these bounties. All right, let's talk to the bounty collector here. Uh... I can sell you some items I've come across. All right. All right, dinosaur claws for 588. Let's go ahead and sell them. And the zombie rags can go, and the venom sack can go. 
Will she buy anything else? No, just bony stuff. All right, we didn't put any in the bag, did we? No. All right, I think that's all the stuff we had. Is there something you need? What? Ready? What do you want? There's nothing else. All right, let's see here. You return. All right, he doesn't have a parrot, but we can sell some of this junk. Let's get rid of the spear and the adventuring. And the rest of that stuff yeah. I'm gonna keep. I say you yes. want? Follow. Do it! Yes. Yeah, we're gonna keep all that stuff. Alright, let's go back up here to Vadinia. See if she knows anything about these parrots that we need to find. I am here to go. Welcome guard, back. Not Vadinia chatter. is glad to see you again. What does the sparrow need that we can accommodate? Do you have a talking bird for sale? The bird wishes a bird. Yes, and no, then, fledgling. <laughs> Intimidate. Quit being cryptic. <laughs> I have but one parrot left, but it is reserved for an interested buyer. However, dear Sparrow, if you should acquire another pet from the dark market in the southeast hills, maybe we shall trade, yes? <laughs> okay. What were these tasks you mentioned? Um... All right, she's got no more stuff. Okay. All right, well, we have over 3,500 gold. I think I'm gonna do a quick bit of shop and I'll do this off camera so we don't drag it out too long. I'll cut this out and I'll see you in a moment. All right, all done doing a bit of shopping once again. I did buy one of these uh, stones of alarm. I figured we better get one just in case we need to rest in an emergency somewhere. That will allow us to rest in some kind of dungeon or something like that somewhere. And I also bought a cloak of protection for Rixen, and his armor class is now 15. And I got another cloak of protection for Umoja, so his armor class is now 18. Other than that, I just saved the rest of my money. We're still pretty good on healing supplies, I think. And I rest up off camera, and we're ready to go. So let's continue on. Let's take a look at our journal here. Yeah, so we need to find this bird at some kind of crazy market in the hills out to the southeast somewhere. We gotta find these missing personnel from the Vigilant. It's gonna be somewhere near the crack or the wreck site. And the rest of these I think we know about. So let's continue on. Alright, let's go back to Omoja. Let's head back toward the site. Alright, these guys are fighting some zombies over here. They're fighting some gnolls. We'll let them have at it. Alright, let's come back down this way then. See if there's anything new down here, possibly. I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere down the end of this beach because we've been on this stretch a couple times now. Oh, yeah, Stone Knives Tribe. Okay, let's see if there's anything else over here. Oh. Something, some rolls. What's that over there? We'll check it out later. Stone Knives Tribe, let's go inside here. Various bones and other debris litter in the mouth of the small cave. Enter the cave. Oh, damn. Right into a fight. Stone Knives Warrior. Let's take a look at a map. Alright, we're up here. Well, it's not very big. It just goes to one big chamber. Alright, let's go to Anandel. Let's see if we can move right here. Alright, I wonder if we can get a sneak attack in here somewhere. Get back here and shoot him up. Come on, boys. Alright, we're still alright. Alright, let's see if we can get away from this guy here. Uh, let's go ahead and go to melee. Let's see if we can help these guys out. Alright, these warriors are uh, a little bit more stronger over here. Yep, we're taking some damage. Can we get out of here? Damn, he's gonna run and follow me all over the place? Alright, let's get a portion of you real quick. Hurry up! Alright, you guys gotta help me. Alright. You can stay back there. Umoja is over here. Doing some healing. Alright, let's kill this guy off here. Alright, he's down. Alright, there's one more back here. Let's take his ass out. All right, let's get back here. Strike swiftly. All right, 
he's down. Alright, and there's a bunch of stone knife guys back here too, but they're in a neutral state. Chieftain Zekrog. Alright, a couple youths and elder. Alright, let's see before we go in there though. What do we have out here? Weapons rack with a bunch of magical stuff. Let's grab all that. And what do we have here in the remains? 151 gold pieces, wow. And 94 gold pieces, wow. These guys got a lot of gold on them. Alright, anything else back here? Not that I can see. Alright, what do we have here? A comma that needs to be identified. Let's pass that off. And a spear that needs to be identified. And we have an arrow plus one and a short bow. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back to our longbow and let's equip those arrows. And who could use a bow? Yeah. Something right, he's got the axes. Alright, maybe we can give him the Loric. Yeah, he doesn't have a missile weapon. Perhaps so. I think he can use a short bow. Let's see. I say yes. yes he can. Let's give that to him. Hmm. And let's give him those what? arrows. Is there something you need? So now everybody should what? have a missile weapon. What do you want? Alright, so the spear we could not identify, but the comma is a comma plus one. Nobody's going to be able to use that. I don't think is so. There something you need? Come on, yeah, follow we can me. sell that. Keep up. Stay close. All right. Anything else? Where I step. Yeah. I say yes. yes. All right. Yes. We're just going to have to hold on to that thing for now. Perhaps so. All right. Let's go see what's going on back here. All right. There's a crate back here too. I suppose this is going to be a fight. Let's no, go see what's going to happen. I speak human. No kill. No hurt tribe. And let's try diplomacy. How can you speak common? Traded with men once. Was peaceful. Now. Must war. No choice. Hmm. Don't listen to her. They're horrible monsters. Oh, last year's in the cage? I saw them eat my first mage. Huh. <laughs> Damn. He's sorry. Was hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Was wounded. Dying. But still good meat. Jeez. Monster! Don't let them talk. Kill them! Hmm. Oh, let's see. Let's try intimidate and explain yourself before I start slitting throats. Please. Other clan. Shattered spear. Drive us from land. We have nothing. This cave. It is all. Please, no kill. No kill! You attacked dying people. You killed them when they begged for mercy. And you have no excuse. All right, let's see. lorik has got an option here. Uh, let's see. He's going to say they surrender. They should be set free. Everybody else is and You showed no mercy. Why should I? Hmm. Yeah, that's an alignment thing there. Let's try this one. They surrender. They should be free to go. We thank. We sorry. Here, key. We no hurt. All right. So we just got 750 experience points. We got a key, and Umoja's got a level up. Okay. Okay. Well, we avoided a fight there. All right. We got the key. Is that the key for a cage? I'm assuming. Let's see. I can't believe you just let those monsters free after what they did to my crew! Hmm. Alright, let's see. We have some other options here. Let's see what these guys are going to say. You think that was mercy? They have a worse death waiting out there. Huh. They're creatures of the jungle. Would you expect the sea to be so kind? Let's try that one. I don't understand you tree folk. But I guess you got a point. Huh. I wish I could punish the sea for taking my crew, but... Humberly doesn't exactly take arguments well. <laughs> but I've said my piece. Set me free and I'll make my own way to Samargal. Make my report to Sasani myself. Alright. Unlock the cage with the Batiri's key. Right. Time to find steel and head to Samargal. Farewell. Farewell. Alright, give me some goodies. Better be something in this crate. Keening reeds, what is this? Arrows that do deafness, 33%, three rounds. Got a potion, bunch of gems, and a bastard sword that needs to be identified. 
Alright, let's grab all that stuff. Alright, we got a level up to do too. Alright, potion needs to be identified. Let's pass that off. And the bastard sword. The rest of that stuff we can sell. Caning reeds. Let's go ahead and give them what? to Annandale. Ready. Alright, and yes. can we identify this stuff? Yeah, it was a bastard yes. sword plus one. Potion of cure moderates. Let's pass them off. Should probably Perhaps give them to so. Rickson. Yeah, he used all his damn potions up. Yeah. Alright, who's still got something a lot of want? potions? We can probably pass these cure light wounds over to him. Is there something yes. you need? Yes. These we can probably push over there too. Ready. Use them things up. Alright, Umoja. Let's go ahead and level him up. Fifth level druid. Alright, we're gonna go with some concentration. And what else can we get? Maybe we can get some listen fired up. Spot survival. Yeah, let's go. Let's go survival for sure. And let's get some spot. And let's crank up listen. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, and we got wild shape. Wild shape. Let's go ahead and hotkey that. Right. Stay close. And journal Stay update. Close. You found Captain Stay. Lastry within the Bateri Caves and freed her. She should be recuperating in the tavern at Samarbal. Sasani so should be pleased with her return. Alright, we can go talk to her next time we're back out there. Okay, well, we took a little bit of damage here. Let's see, we can't rest in here, right? Yeah. Alright, well. And we got everything off of this weapons rack, right? Alright, let's see, he's got 40 hit points, is that going to be alright? Um... Ready. You know what, let's go ahead and use up these weenie spells here. I say yes. Let's get him fixed up a little bit, because I want to keep exploring. I have seen our enemy! Alright, 56. Uh, yes. Let's use up some more of these pure miners. I say yes. And one more here. Santos. Should give him up to 66, I think. Or oh, 64. Okay. Perhaps we're ready so. to go. Let's get out of here. Alright, we got some gnolls. Looks like they're gonna see us. Let's fight. Let's go with a parlay. And let's try a bluff. Throw the gnolls off guard to lower their defenses, then attack. Alright, there's a bunch of them out there. Let's try some choking powder. Let's drop it right here, they'll probably run right into it. Yeah, I can do it. And we should probably buff up a little bit here too. Let's go ahead and get some bless fired up first. I see. And what else can we crank up? Let's see. Let's try some mage armor. Let's put that on Anandel. And maybe we can crank out a sleep spell too. Actually, let's go ahead and get our animal companion fired up. And go to cut. You can stand by. Come back here. Alright, those other ones are going to stay back there, it looks like. Let's wait for him to come in here. Alright, stand by, guys. Alright, we should be able to go ahead and get these guys now. Alright, let's bust the blade. Oh, hang on, guys. Don't run up in there. Yeah, sure enough, we got caught in our own stuff. Alright, come on. This way. All right, can we take his ass out? Moja, get over here. And you shy, he's dazed. All right, Lorik's back here, and we need to get Anandel back here. Get some sneak attack positions going on here. All right, let's see if we can get this guy dead. All right, he's dead. Let's get back here. Take him down. Come on, baby. 
Alright, that one's dead. Move for a sneak attack. Alright, that should be all of them. And Rixon, you can pick up the loot. 42 gold pieces. 80 gold, wow. This guy's got a lot of gold on him. And a set of throwing axes. We can probably pass them off too. If not, sell them later on. Perhaps so. Alright, Umojo took a little bit of damage here, so let's use up these Kier Miners. And let's see, let's I say use yes. one from over here. Santos. And let's do that one more time. Santos. Hmm. Alright, let's get out of here. Still got a Moja leading out. Let's go see what's over here. Sundrape Den. That's one of the new areas. Good. We can see how that's going to be. Oh, what is this? A crate. The hissing sound was a cracked vial of acid leaking and sizzling on the crate's wooden surface. Though the vial is of no use, there are plenty of other items here. You hear a strange hissing. Okay. We picked up some acid blasts, tanglefoot bags, improved alchemist fire. Nice. Let's look down here, make sure there's nothing else hidden over here. Sun draped den. Should be fun looking in this place. 100 experience points for discovering this place. Alright, let's see. We are running up on time though, so this might be a good spot for a quick save. We'll see you in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen.